Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. 826 here on WSAR. It is the Breakfast Club. And joining us on our hotline is Bristol Community College Director of Adult Education, Nancy, is it Labonte, Nancy? Yeah, Nancy Labonte. Good hey, morning, Chris. Good How morning. are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? Good. I hope you had a nice weekend. We certainly had perfect weather for it, huh? Yeah, finally, at long last. Yep. Pete's got a nose full of pollen, but other than that, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. I hit the beach. Yeah, yeah. I was at the beach a little bit. That's lovely. Oh, that's good. Uh, you are here to join us, joining us this morning to tell us a little bit about the adult education program and how students can get involved. So if you could do just that, Nancy, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, great. So I'll just summarize. Um, we have a couple of um, programs at the adult education um, at Bristol, one being the high school equivalency preparation program, which is actually a sequence of classes one can take toward that high school credential, which is the um, high set of the GED, which is recognized in the state. Um, for, you know, again, the high school equivalency. And folks can kind of start when, where they're at in terms of um, maybe, the, you know, beginning, intermediate, or advanced. But uh, on average, folks are spending less than a year and um, completing the program and moving on. And then we also have um, the English Language Proficiency Program, which also has several levels that students can um, come into the program to work on their English skills at the beginning, intermediate, or advanced levels. And um, after that sequence, students also um, can receive what we call as a, a Bristol credential at this point, which is, you know, a certificate of English language proficiency. And then beyond those two programs, we also have what's called a transitions program, which is an umbrella of a couple of options for students where they can enter right into the um, certificate and credit programs, or they can get right into a short-term training program. Currently, we're offering CNA training as well as um, water quality technician training, which is with, you know, um, within actually 12 weeks for the CNA, and I think it's a whole semester for the clean water. Folks are walking away with a credential to go right to work. Um, and then finally, let's see, so beyond that, we've got, um, you know, other options for students, which are primarily located at the college, but certainly some folks go on to other things externally as well. Awesome. And uh, a big event coming up on uh, June 26th as well, too, right, Nancy? Yeah, it's our annual, um, we call it the High School Equivalency HSC Graduation Ceremony, which is honoring the completers uh, within the fiscal year. So we've got um, about 80, up to 80 2024 grads for this year, which are folks that have studied either in person or online, or some folks actually are walking right in off the street and going to the testing center after having um, studied independently and taking that test. So we invite them all. And they bring their families. No, um, we've got a bigger venue this year in the um, the arts building, so we're, you know, no cap for the um, family members that want to bring along. And it's just a wonderful community event where um, you know the community can learn more about the program as well. And everyone receives their certificate. The president will be speaking as well as um, we've got the mayor of Fall River joining us this year. Oh, good. All right. Be a lot of proud, yeah. happy people in that uh, in the in the art center for that. I'm sure. It, yeah, it's really a wonderful event. You know, to see people bring their family, sometimes see the young children as well, and to see them, you know, up there on the stage getting that diploma. We'll be giving out student awards as well, and we'll have a couple of speakers from the student uh, graduating class. So it really is just a wonderful event. Great, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that, uh, you know, for, for those people that they've been working hard at it for a long time, maybe they put it off for a while. And when they finally get that uh, diploma, that's a, a, an amazing moment for a lot Oh, of yeah. Them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I should mention that the classes are at no cost for students. Yeah. Funded okay. by, the, sure. yeah by the Department of Education. Yep. And we provide the books and such. And, um, you know, the, the college is becoming, we're moving toward um, free college as well, you know. Um, <clears throat> so it's really a wonderful opportunity for people to come back, get that diploma, and then even move on to for further opportunities at the college. If people want to get started in that process, what's the first uh, place they should go to or, or call? Okay, well, I'll just maybe um, rattle off the website, and then I have a phone number and an email address. Sure, yep. Yeah, so we've got www.bristolcc.com backslash adult education. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so our programs are listed there. Um, and they could also call 774-357-2272. And then finally, an email if they want to reach out that way. It's um, education at bristolcc.edu. Got it. Thank you so much, Nancy. We appreciate you taking the time to come on the show today. 
Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You got it. We'll talk again soon, I hope. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Nancy. Bye Bye now. Take care. Have a wonderful week. You as well. Thanks. That is uh, Nancy Labonte from Bristol Community College's Director of Adult Education, and it's certainly going to be a great event uh, coming up. Great graduation ceremony Mm -hmm. on June 26th.